Hi everyone. In our previous video, we have created a view random image function where we can see random image uh, from our data set. So in this video, we are going to continue our discussion and we'll see how you can uh, pre-process your data by using image data generator. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start with uh, pre-processing. Okay, so here we are going to cover all these three steps. So let's copy that. First, we are going to see how to split uh, data set, your training and validation data set. So in our previous video, we have already imported this image data generator class, which is present inside tensorflow.keras.preprocessing.image. So we are gonna use this for uh, multiple purpose. And this library is very helpful. Uh, so actually Keras API uh, provide us a class, which is image data generator, I would say if you are working with TensorFlow framework, then you can't resist yourself by using this class. It provides us lots of alpha function. So let's see one by one. So first we are going to uh, see how you can split your data set. Okay, so for that we need to create a image data generator object. Image which we have already created. And inside this, you have to pass two parameter. First one is rescale. Okay, here you have to give uh, one divided by 255. So it's because our original image consists in RGB and the pixel values lies between zero to 225. So that's why we rescale it by multiplying with one by 255 factor. And so that the target value get normalized between zero to one. So generally this process is called uh, yeah, normalization or rescaling. So you don't have to write additional script for this. TensorFlow image data generator will handle this on fly. So that, that is the rescaling part. And second parameter we are going to pass validation split. So validation split parameter uh, allows you to randomly split your image data into validation and train just by providing the uh, percentage you want to allocate for validation data set. So suppose here we want to split our data set into 20-80% so just we have to give here 0.2 that means first uh, the image data generator will load the image and it will rescale it normalize it for you and then split your data set into means uh, whatever folder you have created inside this you have your data set right so that data set will gonna split into 80-20 uh, ratio so 80 for test uh, uh, for test uh, training and 24 validation right so uh, you don't have to create separate folder for training and testing image manually so for splitting your data set neither you have to create separate folder for training and testing image manually nor you have to write python script logic to create test and train data set so just by creating this uh, image data generator, you can do that. All right, so now we have created this image data object. So now let's create our train and test uh, data set. So train image, let's use this uh, data generator object. It should be uh, generator, right? Uh, okay, data generator dot flow from 
directory we are getting those image from directory so we have to use this function okay so inside this we have to pass multiple things so first thing is uh, directory so where we have kept our image so this is our directory so that we have to pass over here then and the second parameter would be batch size so batch size is a total number of training example present in single batch so it's like you can't pass the entire data set into the neural network at once so we divide data set into batches so let's uh, take 32 over here so in single batch only 32 image will be present okay so next uh, parameter would be class mode so since we have only two class type right mask and uh, no mask so it should be binary okay and then the most uh, interesting thing uh, so here we have given that 20% data set should be present for validation so we have to uh, specify over here so this is training set right so that we have to mention here we have to mention training so what it will do it will create 80 percent of data and assign in this variable it will split or load 80 percent of data into this variable so that we need to just specify over here so uh, this data generator object will get to know so we are preparing this variable for training right okay so let's keep the seed equal to 42 so setting seed to 42 so it will generate the same data set every time during multiple execution so that's the purpose okay so it's saying found 1008 image belong to glasses right so we have created a, a train image a object right now create test image same way we will create this as well okay flow from directory same parameter we need to pass uh, directory would be image data generator again the batch size would be 32 class class mode again binary and here subset so now here we are telling its validation so that way it will uh, this object will get to know we have to keep 80 percent data over here and 20 percent data over here again just uh, keep the seed equal to 42 uh, okay comma yeah so now for validation we have 250 two images belongs to two 